You want to start a YouTube channel, but you don't want to show your face. Here are 25 channel ideas just for you. Number one, gaming tutorials. This could be on absolutely any game that you want, but you deep dive into the aspect of the game. I don't mean sit there and play the game. I actually mean teach the game to the people that want to learn it. Some good examples of this is people like More Console, who teach you every aspect of Destiny. He'll walk you through some package openings. He'll show you how to get one of the latest guns. He'll show you your NPCs, maybe even show you certain gaming layouts. So this is your best hunter. This is your best titan. Now this model can be spewed out into other things as well. So it could be Zelda, for example, how to get certain missions done, how to break certain puzzles. Mario, how to jump up certain walls or find hidden toys. Absolutely any game could be presented entertainingly in a fashion that doesn't need your face. Just lead with value first. Two, list channels. Now, you've no doubt seen them. These are the things like 10 weird spooky locations, five funny ghost stories. I really like the ones that are like, here's five spooky places that people have forgotten about, or Mayan secrets or stuff like that. But the list channel could be about absolutely anything. Top 10 actors, top 20 goals. The advantage here is that you can use B-roll footage to overlay on top Top. That B-roll footage could be the sportsman. This B-roll could be a TV clip and you can simply narrate on top of it. Three, cooking. These could be your recipes. These could be your tutorials. You've seen them on Facebook and you've seen them on Instagram and no doubt you know that they come from YouTube. These are the camera down, hands only, throwing things into a bowl type recipe videos. As long as you can add captions, in some cases you don't even have to use your own voice. You just throw the things in, you show the finished product, you build it, going through all the stages and then you show the finished product again. That way they can see, this is what you're going to make, here's how you made it, ta-da, here's me eating it. Four, urban exploration videos. There's a channel that I really love to watch and basically he goes through aspects of why somewhere has fallen into decay, whether it's some of the old Disney locations where they shut them down and then they turn them into wreckage and they become abandoned, or whether he's exploring some kind of business site or a building site that just never got built. There's places near me in Yorkshire where if you walk along the canal you can see old industries that just shut up shop one day and then never reopened. You can go into ghost houses or hotels or hospitals. There's many places that you can go into that is known as urban exploring and have just been taken over or forgotten. Five, art drawing lessons. Very similar to the cooking channels, you can have a camera pointed downwards to your hands and you can draw things. This could be a way for you to teach us how to draw. Here's how you draw an eye. Here's how you grid it all out. Or you can generate speed drawings where you draw something over a period of time and you crunch it down so I can slowly see how you drew your Marvel's Avenger poster. Six, animation. Animation could be a great way to not show your face but still tell a story. Some people, like Bearing, use it for commentary and reaction channels. There's one channel that I really like that I keep forgetting the name of. It's like Cyanide something. And they've got funny little stick figures that tell stories. Or you can use it for educational purposes, like CGP Grey, in which you'd never see their face. They explain it all through animation and imagery. And you can talk over it and really make your point. Seven, pet videos. This is perfect. The focus is on your pet. So make it about your pet, whether you're training your pet, whether you're talking to your pet, whether you're making a funny voice for your pet, whether you've made your pet the vlogger that's talking about things, or whether it's just a compilation of cats and dogs and ah. Oh. Eight, camping advice. Once again, this could be hands down, or if you're looking at things like primitive technology, he builds huts and he sets fires and he never really truly shows his face. He could be on camera, but you're focusing on what he's building mainly. And this could be the same. This could be you showing us knots. This could be you whittling things. This could be you putting up a tent. Lead with value and educate people. They don't need to see your face. Nine, knitting. Exactly the same. You can focus on your hands, you can show people purling and knitting and going through a pattern. You can throw the pattern up. You can show the before and the after, just like a cooking channel. 10, music. Now this could be cover songs in which you've cut off half your face, or you're just focusing on a guitar. You could be teaching people an instrument, whether it's a piano, a guitar, a bass, a violin. Maybe you're doing cover songs and you're using B-roll. Maybe you're putting together your own compilation with other videos on top. Maybe you're making an anime music video and you want to use your own music. 11, soft 
software tutorials. Now, I do a few of these from time to time. I introduce them, I throw it to the screen where I'm showing you how I use a certain feature in a certain software product, but maybe this wants to be your core focus. Maybe you know a lot about WordPress, or a lot about Microsoft Outlook, or a lot about anything, really. You can step us through every process. Maybe you want to teach us how to code. You put up the screen recordings. If you want to put yourself in the bottom right-hand corner, fine, but you don't have to. And you can step things through. You zoom in, you zoom out, you tell people where things happen to be. Software tutorials can also be very evergreen in the long run because the software won't change much. So you pile them all in, just like I've done here. I've got 480 odd tutorials on this channel. Most of those are evergreen, will not change much, and they build up a good back catalog and help grow grow in the long run. Although I do note that educational channels can struggle to grow initially, it's very much of a snowball and a curve at the end. Once you start getting traffic, it accelerates quickly, but you really have to grind at the bottom of this curve. 12, ASMR. That's where they do weird audio sentry things to the camera and the microphone. Now, you don't have to show your face. You can be tapping on things, you can be brushing things, or you could be whispering into a microphone it doesn't mean that you have to be on camera. ASMR is focused on the, the noise and the sensations, not necessarily the personality of the person. 13, motivation. There's many channels out there that take clips of people like Gary Vaynerchuk, right? And they overlay or clip it to music so it's an inspirational quote or speech. Evan Carmichael does this fantastically well. And what he does is he collects a load of thoughts and then answers a question for you. This can be the same with you. Maybe you are a motivational speaker and you want to set it to inspirational music and inspirational imagery using B-roll. You can do that with these ideas. 14, travel reviews. Now maybe you want to go to a restaurant and you want to enjoy the experience. Maybe you're going to a specific country or sightseeing location and you're just showing a load of B-roll. You want to be that holiday TV travel show where you're talking over things and you're showing, here you go, here's a really beautiful place in Barcelona. Here's a wonderful bridge in God knows where. You can get them to experience your travel with you and you can talk about the location because the videos aren't necessarily about you anymore. They're about the experience of visiting that location. And if you've got a good affiliate arrangement with say a travel agency, maybe you can make money by pushing them out to that certain country or to that certain program. 15, DIY, brilliant. You don't have to show your face. You just have to explain the problem. Here you go, here's a tap. Here you go, I'm hanging a picture frame. Here you go, I'm building a shed. Here's the problem. Here's how I fix it and the solution. Here's the end piece of product. There's been a channel recently called Dad How Can I who's got over 2 million subscribers within like a month because he nailed what the value is. A question and answer. Granted, I believe he's on camera, but you can still do that with DIY or anything really. 16, repair. Exactly the same really. Here's a leaky bath. Here's a problem tap. It could be as simple as how do I repair this? So you zoom in on the screen, you slowly take the screen off. I can then see inside. You can show me how you put it back on, but everything could be hands in. The camera could be focused down. So with DIY, it's about building and with repair, it's about fixing. 17, educational. Now this could be that you're a science teacher and you want to teach people every fine detail of physics or biology. The topic in itself doesn't matter, but what you can do is throw things up on the screen that are entertaining, that you can talk over that steps you through things. It might be that you're teaching them how to write a hypothesis and an experiment. It could be you explaining how you write an essay. It could be teaching them thermodynamics. A very good example of this is Crash Course that's been set up by the Vlog Brothers, Hank and John Green, and it's expanded over time. They've done literature, English, history, mathematics, science. They do have a host, but every now and then they throw two animated graphics. You could just make the whole thing animated. 18, toy reviews. Very simple. You can have the camera pointed down at the toy or pointed at the toy as you go through. You unbox it, you show it, you turn it around, you show how the arms work and the legs work or how the car pushes. There are many, many, many channels out there where you're just playing with the toys. You can then link to the toys on an affiliate program. You can make money through there. It's very kid friendly. Just be wary that it's not aimed at kids, otherwise you may get hit by copper. You could, however, go down the route of retro toys where you are an adult and you're unboxing a load of 
Star Wars toys or Transformers, the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, or as Zack Ryder does, the wrestler, he really loves his wrestling figures. But you don't have to show your face because the core thing is the toy. 19, how to channel. I suggest that you pick a niche to go down because you don't want to do how to tie your tie and then how to upload a YouTube video. Although they both start with how to, they don't really have a niche. A niche is what grows a channel. So it could be that you know everything about decorating. So it could be how to decorate, how to paint, how to grout, how to whatever. But how to channels do fantastically well. And as you grow and grow and grow and grow, you can be very much broader than say a channel like myself to start with. I had to make 400 tutorials on YouTube to prove that I knew about YouTube before you started trusting me to either use my affiliate links or to look at the other things that I'm going to teach you about. Well, as a how-to channel, you can kind of start with science and do everything sciency rather than the science of thermodynamics being the niche, for example. 20, fashion. Now this could be all about the current trends. This could be comparing a celebrity outfit. This could be repairing things. Or you making a pocket, or you making a dress. Deep diving into a topic like this shows you being creative or shows you having an imagination. You could slowly show a dress that you've designed, or you could talk about fashion weeks with them walking up and down the catwalk and you giving them the examples and your opinion without showing your face. 21. Slime. No doubt you've seen this if you've got young kids or maybe you are one and you want to make it yourself. You can make slime and you can also make a huge variety of slime. So you with your hands and your ingredients you just pour it in, you mix your whatever into it happens to be, your sprinkles, your colours. You can make as much slime as you want, you can make weird slime, you can theme it. This is kind of an example of really deep diving into one specific toy really. But slime can be very visual and very hands-on and no face required. 22. Action cams. Now these are the things that are deliberately designed to not show your face because otherwise it's pointless. You don't want 20 minutes of just someone's face as they skydive. You want to see the ground as they hurtle towards it. Action cams can be placed on surfboards, bikes, drones. Explore the world, show us fantastic views. You can vlog during it, you can talk about the world, or you could teach people tricks on how to do skateboarding jumps. Some people just want to take that journey along with you. 23. Unboxing or product reviews. Very much like toy reviews, you aim the camera down at your hands, you can get your box and they can unfold it, you can show them round boxes, you can pick up products. If you want to break them, if you want to take them apart and put them back together again, people then get a direct connection to that product. You can point at things, you can pull things apart, and once again you can link to that product in the description down below with an affiliate arrangement of some kind. That can then earn you money, but you can build up loads and loads of reviews very quickly. Review things that are around in your house. Borrow things off of friends. 24. History channel with weird stories. There's enough history in this world that you can educate us about it. Go in and tell us about the Mayans. Go in and tell us about why people lived in caves and carved them all out of, of rock. Towns that have been covered over in water during the World Wars. Deep dive into things like Chernobyl. There's many weird history stories, right? And this is, once again, going back to one of the things that I really love, the idea of an abandoned town or a ghost place or weird little quirks of history that you may not have known about. You can use public domain footage, so for example you're talking about the Wright brothers learning to fly, or you can use B-roll companies like Storyblocks, for example. I'm sure there'll be a link in the description down below. But if you're brave enough to put your face on a camera, there's 25 channel ideas here that could be your next channel.